United States. And you obviously know uh, these two wrestlers pretty good, Jimmy. Well, you know, I've coached Nate last year, and I've worked with Andre Mesker, who has been wrestling Fadzaya for the past two or three years. And, and this was a matchup that I thought we were going to have in Seoul last year was going to be one of the matches of the decade. Fadzaya has never been beaten in international competition, a three-time world champion, Olympic champion. And Nate last year was wrestling as well as I've ever seen anybody wrestle. And I was looking for this matchup last year, and hopefully it'll be a great match today. And there was some talk that maybe uh, Fatsayev wouldn't wrestle Nate Carr. Carr here in the blue singlet, that uh, he may avoid him and wait for the world champion the chips in uh, Switzerland later this year. Well, I think, he, you know, he's got a style, and, and the conflict of styles always maybe is to Fatsayev's advantage because he's very solid, very methodical about his techniques. And to, to give Attack. Nate that chance to feel him out and, and to see what kind of action he's going to create during this match, Maybe that's a possibility, but this is an important championship for the World Cup, and I think that uh, they're going to have all their guns out there today. Well, you might have heard the crash there as Nate Carr's head banged into the side of Fatsayev's head. He stunned him a little bit, and they're going to stop this match. Four minutes and 32 seconds to go. I don't think there's any question, Jimmy, that this is going to be a very physical match. There's no doubt about that. Nate's uh, one of the most powerful and explosive wrestlers I've ever been associated with. And I've not only heard the crack there, I've felt that one before in workouts with Nate. And it's very physical. There's a move. He didn't finish it, but he kind of steps around one side, ducks the other side, and he can really end up with an aggressive throw on that one. But Fatsayev but counters out of it. Well, that was one of, that's one of Nate's patented techniques where he, he hits that duck under and steps across to the body lock. And he pinned Metzger in the Olympic trials uh, with that particular technique. And I think that Fedzayev's worried about that technique. Of course, Andre Metzger was the wrestler in this weight division for a long, long time. And Nate Carr beat him off the team to make the Olympic team this past year. And has, uh, obviously right now, uh, is in this weight division. And the one we'd look to be around, uh, we're looking to him to 92. Is he going to be in there? Well, I think there's a possibility in that. I think what we what we just saw here with uh, Fadzayev attacking the leg and drive, trying to drive Nate out of bounds is, is going to be the strategy for Fadzayev. I think Nate... His, his style of backing up and then counterattacking and backing up and trying to get the man leading into him, into his attack, it is, is Nate's forte, but it's also kind of, uh, you know, against the philosophy of international wrestling. They want you to stay in the center. They want you to stay out of the red zone. And I, I think if I was Fadzaya's coach, that's one of the things I would try and do to beat Kyle. I would try and crowd him, try and drive him through the zone and score those cheap points. And this, you'll see this here. He'll drive. And uh, it's, it's going to be a very tactical match, I think. They're kind of half shots. Nobody really committing all the way through. One caution right now against Carr. Carr was a three-time MC2A champion. And I think it's kind of unusual. He's got a real good mental attitude about this competition. Every time you talk to him, he's real positive that he's the guy that can do the, do the job. And I think when you're wrestling somebody who's never been beaten in international competition, that's quite an attitude. But Saev in on the leg, scores the takedown. Well, they're going to give the two. He turned him and touched his elbow. I think that's a critical situation there. He can't get turned here. If he gets turned here, it could be. Twice. Twice. That's an active cross. Fadzayev has been one of the innovators in that technique the past few years, and one of the reasons he's won three or four world championships is that particular crossed ankle. You can continue to use that hold as many times as you can. It's not like the gut wrench where you're limited to one. They only, he did it twice, but they called the second one out of bounds, so it's only a two point. The score right now is four to nothing. Some quick action there, puts Fatsayev out in the lead. Two minutes and 20 seconds to go in this period and the match. Right now, the Soviet Union is leading in matchups here. They've won three matches to the USA's one. Nate's gonna have to pick up the tempo here and create some action because Fatsayev will hang out and let the time run out more. It's, it's a difficult situation to, to come back. Well, they're calling a caution against, that's his second caution against Fatsayev, but he has the only points. It'd be very unusual to caution him out of the match. Big upset in the last weight class at 136 and a half pounds. Uh, a little controversy there too, Jim. Well, I believe, you know, the, the, the rule says, and I get to the officials, uh, indoctrination meeting before the tournament that if the judge and the referee agree on the call, the match chairman cannot change it. And that's exactly what happened in that last bout. They changed the match, they changed the score, and that's why John ended up losing 2-1. That, that should have been an overtime match. Well, you can't change that. We've learned the politics of officiating, particularly in the international style. It goes up as a win for Stefan Sarkeesian. And a loss for John Smith. 
right now Fatsayev here at 149 and a half pounds showing why he's won the world championships four times and the Olympics and why he's never lost in international style he isn't letting Nate Carr even score five to nothing he's a tremendous tremendous position all the time he doesn't make mistakes he stays in his stance he controls the tie-ups Nate's only chance to win now is to get an attack and drive Fatsayev out of bounds while under attack for the third caution. They're not going to give it to him. He's going to have to drive him out of bounds. And as you see, Fadzai will give up the one. And, and he'll, he'll just buy, he's buying some time now. The match is over. Well, we've watched Nate Carr already in this competition take some five-point throws, those high amplitude throws. So he still can be very dangerous, and you can't concede anything to him. But that four-point lead is quite a cushion right now for a world champion like Arsene Fatsayev. Uh, with 35 seconds to go on the match, it would be hard for me to see Fatsayev getting in a position to be thrown. He'll give up another point, another 20 seconds off the clock. He does have to wrestle. That third caution looming over his head. There we go. Oh, he's got the arm trap. That body lock step behind there. The arm trap, the gut wrench is there. But he only gets one. It was very close to a back exposure, but only the takedown awarded. Score right now, 5-2 to two with 21 seconds to go. They're going to leave Fatsayev down on the mat, give Carr an opportunity to turn him. I think he would have rather been on his feet. It would have been to Nate's advantage to be up. There's no question about that. 13 seconds to go. They're back up to their feet now. Two cautions for Fatsayev, one for Nate Carr. Score is 5-2. to two. The only thing they can do it is a big move. Is there time? Can he set it up? Time runs out. There it is. It was the first two points that were scored by Fatsayev. Took him to his back, scored the two, laced up the legs, stepped it back over the top. A lot of torque here in the process of turning him over. And when you're caught in that, it's very hard to get out of it. it it's difficult to defend. I mean, once you're trapped and he's got the ankles crossed, there's the, there's the duck under to the body lock, and, and Fadzayev turned out of it this time. You know, not giving, he's giving up, conceding the one point, but not giving up the big throw, which could change the outcome of the match. 